You know, sometimes making these reaction videos to Crystal Palace games can be a little bit difficult. And uh, the one that I'm going to make today, which is um, the game against Southampton in the FA Cup, is one of those games that is going to be very difficult to make. But we will carry on. We will persevere. Welcome to Palace of the Core. My name is Stephen Dawes and... This is going to be um, a spoiler full video. So as I said, as, as I normally say, if you haven't seen the game yet, do go and see it and then come back and listen to this video. So the lineups themselves were kind of similar to what he puts out, what Patrick Vieira puts out during the uh, during the match games. I mean, you had um, obviously Gaeta was in goal, Ward, Anderson, Gahey and Klein at the back. That's a familiar setup. At least say Ducure and Hughes on the left this time. No, um, no schlup in there. And Au Edward and Zaha up front. So we had Edward in front in um, instead. So, but it was a fairly similar way to to set up the team. And I thought it actually was a very good setup in terms of having, you know, Elise de Kure and Hughes in the middle. I think uh, having Hughes and Elise, Elise together, uh, like Hughes and de Kure together, would be uh, would be a better match. And I think that in the first half, I thought we actually started quite well. We, you know, I mean, we were creating chances. You know, we were looking like we were going to uh, go forward, you know, and against a team like Southampton who, you know, let's be fair, haven't had the best of seasons. I would have expected us to, uh, you know, to come out with all, all guns blaring, you know, to come out and try and take the game by the scruff of the neck, which we didn't necessarily do. But we came out and we did create a few chances. And then um, it, it was actually very early on. It was on the 14th minute that... Um, but Wilfred Zaha had a tackle that kind of, uh, well, he was tracking back, he was, trying to, he was trying to close down the opponents and he managed to get the ball away from the Southampton player and it fell very kindly for Edward who ran into the box and slotted it past the keeper. It took a bit of a deflection off the keeper, but uh, it was a goal anyway and that was on 14 minutes. And at that point, I thought this actually could be a really good game. I thought that we could, you know, maybe run out two or three nil uh, uh, winners and uh, be heading through to the next round. However didn't quite work out that way so you know the rest of the first half we were again creating a few chances there was a great chance from AU who uh, ran into the box threw himself at the ball at the cross coming in got his foot on it but unfortunately it just went up and hit the crossbar and away so that was a bit of a shame but at least he was there and at least it was um, an opportunity that was uh, there to be taken and he actually managed to get on the end of it so that was a good thing in some ways but unfortunately he couldn't keep it on target so we were, we were looking okay, and I thought that we were actually doing well. However, the situation changed a little bit on the 37th minute when uh, Ward um, had a foul near, well, foul in our half of the pitch. And uh, David Ward, James Ward Prowse, I should say, he um, he's he's very good from, from free kicks and things like that. We all know his ability in that situation. Uh, but the goal itself was a bit of a calamity, I have to be honest. I don't think that uh, I've seen a goal quite that bad conceded by Palace in a while and there was two reasons why I thought it was a calamity not just the obvious one there was a second reason why I thought it was a bit of a calamity so first of all the ball came in it was quite it was it was aimed at the at the players it wasn't aimed as a as a direct free kick it was lofted into the box with the intention of a Saints player getting their head on it but unfortunately it sailed over the top of the wall, top of all the players and uh, bounced just behind them in front of Gaeta who it, who then was completely out of position and it went up and into the top corner of the goal and the Gaeta didn't get across in time to actually save it or do anything with it it wasn't a particularly fierce shot it wasn't a particularly fast it just uh, deceived Gaeta and it went in the back of the net yes Gaeta should have done better with it I think that he maybe got a bit unsighted or misjudged the flight of the ball or something but uh, I do think he should have done probably better than he did the, my other problem, however, is the fact that, um, yes, it did go over the top of all of the players, including the Southampton ones, but I would have hoped that we would have had more of an opportunity or at least tried to get hold of the ball, uh, become, you know, be the first contact with the ball a little bit more than we did. However, this is one of those things, and, and we conceded the goal on 37 minutes. Going into the second half, uh, I think that, again, we were trying hard. We were trying to... Uh, Break Southampton down. We were trying to, you know, string passes together and and make a difference. I think that Zaha was playing quite well. I thought that he was trying his best. You could see he was trying his best to, tr to create something, especially when the the, the equaliser went in. I thought that he was trying hard. Unfortunately, though, there was another calamity on 68 minutes, and this time it was going to uh, Seoul fault unfortunately now there are some people who are, who are saying that are blaming anderson for the back pass 
I've never been a fan of back passes to, to you know across to the goalkeeper or going across the back of the mid you know, the defense things like that I've never been a fan of that because I always think it opens yourself up to possible situations like the one that happened I don't think it was Anderson's fault I think it's a ball that they've played many times Gaeta has already dealt with it many times before but uh, on this occasion he received the ball and then for whatever reason I don't think that he saw Adam Armstrong um, closing him down and uh, he managed to nick the ball off his foot and then ran unmarked basically into the Palace goal for 2-1 and you know I guess you have to lay the blame at Gaeta you know he should have been looking at who was coming in on him shouldn't have uh, taken quite so much time perhaps as he did but that's the way it went and it ended up as 2-1 at the end of the game I think personally that we didn't play that badly necessarily I think that the chances that were were given to Southampton were bad bad mistakes by us but I don't think that uh, no I don't think the game was completely bad all the way through I think that we had spells when we were trying to score goals we had spells when we came very close to scoring goals and I think that uh, it's just that situation once again where you know we don't have the, uh, the the clinical finishing at the end and uh, Pedro Vieira has said he's come out and said that he uh, he's going to demand more from his players he's going to uh, demand that they are more clinical in front of goal and that they actually start to turn some of these chances that we're getting into goals um, I've re I recently read the fact that uh, they were supposed to have two days off after the Southampton game that's now not going to happen they're only going to get one day off and then they're going to come back into training before the next game so perhaps there's there's now this feeling that uh, the players aren't quite giving enough and of course there is that statistic floating around that Crystal Palace are one of the lowest uh, teams in the league in terms of um, a space covered around the pitch apparently we are one of the lowest teams to cover the the amount of ground that we do during the game which I mean you know covering a lot of ground isn't necessarily um, going to win you games you know that's not necessarily going to happen but uh, I guess there is a situation where you know perhaps we're not closing down as much as we should be doing perhaps we're not making as many runs as we should be doing so uh, I guess it's something that needs to be looked into and I'm sure that the team will do but of course I'd love to hear your thoughts on this I'm going to be doing a, a video on why I think things aren't working this season compared to last season when I think we had a better season um, not necessarily in terms of points or position but I think generally our play was a bit better last season and I'm going to be doing a video as to why I think that's the case so don't forget to look out for that and if you haven't subscribed don't forget to do so so you get notified when that video comes out I'd love to hear your thoughts as always. Let me know in the comments whether you think, whether you agree with Patrick Vieira that uh, this is something that's going to take some time. He's, he's recently said that it's going to take more than just weeks or months to sort out. That It could actually take a lot longer. So that's something to think about as well. But let me know whether you agree with that, whether you think it is going to take time or whether you think that things should already have started to progress and that maybe the problems we have are perhaps deeper and more widespread than it uh, appears on the surface. Let me know down in the comments as always. And uh, I'll see you next time.